This is all about hope and faith, not in an institutional way, but in a living way. Let's get started. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. I thought I would share a journey because this channel hasn't just been about painting. Well, it started out being about painting, but life happens. And, and um, as you know, as an artist, your life and your painting often overlap. And what I want to talk about today is, um, well, it, it's about faith, not about uh, institutional faith, but about faith. Um, 2022 was a really rough year for me, a really, really rough ride. And uh, after being hospitalized in the fall, I've continued to uh, work on getting better. So um, I don't want to keep count, but honestly, it's been like 18 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but things are getting better. But anyway, uh, back in December, right before Christmas, uh, my birthday occurred. And I thought I would like to buy myself a birthday present. So I bought myself a silk skirt. And uh, I have no place to wear this. I have no holiday parties. I have nothing. I have no, absolutely nowhere to wear this, this thing. But I bought it. And I think what I was really doing was buying hope on a rack. But I, I kept it. And today was the day that I decided to wear it. So uh, in a minute, you're gonna see a picture of that, or maybe I'll insert it right here. Because I decided what I would do was celebrate faith. And the peonies haven't come, haven't bloomed yet. A, a couple of them have, but they're gigantic bloom. It's gonna happen as soon as the sun comes out tomorrow and it gets warm, because it's been uh, very rainy here. And I thought, don't wait for the big event wear the thing now. So I went out on a cloudy day and <laughs> and brought my painting with me. Uh, but my painting isn't done. I, you, so you'll see, it's, it's pretty washed out. I hadn't finished it yet. So I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll make a video about the final steps of how to make that painting pop. So there'll be some learning here, but uh, for the most part, it really was about getting up uh, over and over and over again and, and not giving up hope and even celebrating on a day a day about promise, I guess, the day of the promise of, of getting better, the promise of going forward, the promise that the peonies will be here. And, um, and maybe that's enough. And so many times, you know, life is so full of these false beginnings and false endings. Now, um, I think I mentioned that the, the skirt is silk. And I have to say, if you ever get the opportunity to buy something or wear something that's silk, it feels like cascading water on your body. There is just nothing quite like that feeling. So I plan on wearing that skirt often, probably in my own backyard. <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> that is not the point. The point is to keep moving forward and to celebrate that even on days that are not special days, you can pull yourself up and work toward a future that maybe has some promise and some purpose. Purpose is a big one. And now we'll go to the video and see how I finished up that peony painting. And the peonies, as I said, are going to bloom and I will be painting them um, endlessly until they, you know, the next rain comes and, and they droop their heads and and bow out, so to speak. All right, remember to keep the white to your paper white, your paint sweat, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So here are the finishing touches. <laughs> the best way to make something white pop is to make the background darker. But what I wanted to do was not just make the background one color. And you know this from watching my other videos. Whenever possible, I like to use a triad, meaning three colors to accomplish one job. So that is some indigo, some Prussian blue, and a little bit of Viridian as well. And that's going to darken things up considerably. But I don't want to do that all around the peony because I don't want an island uh, surrounded by oceans painting. So I want to leave some space. And it's all about making that background space just interesting.
but not specifically about it being petals back there. You, as you know, I like to use as few strokes as possible, and I want to keep things simple. It wasn't dark enough, so I went back in and went and did a second coat, and that I think is pretty effective. And I'm pretty happy with this first peony painting of 2023. And we'll go on because there are many peony paintings to come. Yeah. So remember to keep the white your paper white, your paint sweat, mask for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.